Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Violet. And I'm Ruby. And today we're talking about Bullet Heart, or Bullet, or I'm not actually sure what the name is. I think it's just Bullet, but there's a heart if you go online. Anyway, uh, this is a game, a shoot 'em up puzzle action game is what it's called. It's based on one of the worst things in existence, anime. What? You like One Punch Man. That That's no excuse. This is not One Punch Man. <laughs> one Punch Man is an anime, though. Yeah, I'm just kidding. But uh, these two like anime a little. Oh. When I say little, it's ridiculous amounts. But anyway, in this game, you're shooting at each other, but you're not really. It's kind of like Tetris or something like that where the bullets are falling down and you got to stop them. Let me Before show they you. Hit you. Huh? Before they hit you. Oh, yes. <laughs> player is going to pick a character that they're going to use and so you're just going to pick if each character has a special ability on them they have a certain number of life at the bottom so you're going to pick your characters let's say I use this musician alchemist here and you're also each character comes with a basically abilities that they can do and so her special ability board is like this so each player is going to build a board in front of them that looks like this you're going to keep track of your energy over here you'll start with seven you have a bunch of abilities that you'll be able to use each player also has a small deck of pattern cards and each round of the game you're going to reveal three of these pattern cards and these are cards that you are trying to use to help you from getting, stop you from getting hit by bullets. Now there's a big bag, this is called the center of bullets, and you're going to be drawing 10 of those and putting them in your own personal bag. And players are going to be playing rounds of this game simultaneously. You set a three minute timer, they actually have a soundtrack, which is on Spotify, where that has three minute theme music pieces for each of the different characters that you can play. And during this three minutes, all players are going to be going simultaneous. One of the things you can do in your turn, you can do this as many times as you want, is you'll pull a bullet. You'll look at the number and the color. This is a yellow three. So I'm going to put it in the yellow column, and I'll put it three down. And I'm going to keep doing that. So uh, let's say here I draw a blue two. I'll place that one there. Now I drew a pink two. So I'll put it in the second column there. And everyone's doing this at the same time. Now I drew a yellow two here. So I count down. All right, yellow two. I now did a blue four. Here's the thing, though. I'm going to go one. This doesn't count as a space, so two, three, four. And I got to be careful because I don't want to go all the way down to the bottom. There's a green three. Let's see what I got now, a red two. So I got plenty of space here to be drawing bullets. A green three, so one, two, three. A blue four, one, two, three, four. Whew. If that had gone farther, what would have happened would be that it would land here, immediately slide over, and I take a hit. So that's really dangerous. And then I draw my last one, and it's a pink one. Now, I can stop anytime I want drawing bullets from my bag and do some of my other things. And that's mostly going to be actions here. I'm going to try to move bullets around. This lets me spend one energy here to move a bullet left, right, or down a space. This one here lets me move a bullet diagonally one space. So. I would do that. Move this one diagonally one space. I'll move this one diagonally one space. And then I'll move this one diagonally and diagonally like this. Now you're saying, Tom, why did you do all that? Well, because you're trying to complete patterns. So here I have a pattern that says I need to have two greens next to any bullet. And if so, I can eliminate the three bullets below them. So I do that. I discard my pattern. These two bullets are now sent to the incoming spot of my opponent. So if you're going to hit the person to your left, or if you're playing a two-player game, the person across from you, and you'll put that stack there. Also, if the bullets you get rid of have stars on them, which they do in this case, you can take one of your star abilities. Here I can flip a bullet that's in my sight face down, or I can gain an action point back. In this case, I think I'm going to turn this one face down. And my special ability here is face down bullets in my sight are all colors and have no numbers or stars. But it's all colors. So then I'll spend another thing to move this diagonally up one. And now I can use this pattern. No, not that pattern. 
this pattern here. It says I need a red and a pink. A red and a pink, and then I get rid of those four. So I got rid of all three of these. And you just keep doing that till you run out of these, or you run out of patterns, but you have to pull everything from your bag. And once you're done pulling everything from your bag, you're gonna be able to take one of these tokens here, there's one per player in the middle of the table, and you'll stick it in one of these empty spots, and it's a one-time use you can use in the future. So after everyone's gone, we'll see if everyone's still alive. Once you take enough hits here, you're dead. You're probably not gonna die on turn one. So you're gonna take all the incoming bullets that came to you, throw them in your bag. You're gonna look at the intensity track and add that many more bullets to the bag, then move the intensity up by one. So you can see at some point, like I don't know that we've ever gone beyond eight. <laughs> you know, there's so many bullets coming in at that point in time that people are going to end up dying. And if everyone dies on the same turn, if, if one person's left alive, they win. If everyone dies in the same turn, whoever has fewer bullets on their board will win that. And if there's still a tie, well, then you have kind of a, a runoff. So there's all kinds of things. You just saw one character here where she can turn stuff face down. There are here she has crosshairs that she puts on the board and she's manipulating them around. Here she can push bullets around. This person has less life, but threes are all numbers. And then we have um, her. She gets a special marker. Each character, um, there's, she has her special Mario marker here. And you can put on any space and it counts as a bullet with no color or number. So she gets to move things around. So they all have different things. She only has two life, but she cannot be hit by certain color bullets. Not only that, if that's not enough for you, each of these can turn into a boss and you can fight essentially against a boss who has much more strength and much more deadly when you fight against them. So that's it. There's lots of different things in the game. Um, we're using the special abilities and you'll have to learn how your sheet works, but it's pretty simple and it plays the same. The artwork is anime, so definitely if you like that. It's uh, Bullet Hell is the name of the genre and cued them up. I don't like that term, cued them up. I thought the rule book did a pretty decent job. Although some of the more basic things I would have been much more clear on, there is, when you get rid of a bullet, it gets sent to the opponent's incoming area. That's written in here somewhere like one line. I would have made a much bigger deal about that. Now you'll notice that the bullets that I have here are, are wooden. These are great, but they are the deluxe version. The original version just comes with these discs here. They're okay, but it, when you're pulling stuff from a bag, I'd much rather have the wooden pieces. Um, the cards and the special abilities, and then there's even quotes here, as you can get into the theme. So that's pretty good. The music is nice. It sounds like video game music to me, maybe anime music. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with the components. All right, well, my first question to you girls is, what do you think of the theme of the game? The anime and uh, shooting really at each like other? It. I really like that part of the game. Did you read, like, the histories of the people? No, they had histories. Yeah, it's in the rule book. You can learn about the different people and why they're in this tournament and why they're shooting 6,000 bullets at each other. Aren't they just, like, trying to prove who's better? Yeah, I think so. Like, I they are in most video games, like... Mario Party where they had a competition who was the best character. I don't think they're trying to kill each other. Yeah, you're right. I think they're just trying to prove who the best person is. What about the music? Because we listen to the soundtrack a oh, lot. Really they like were music. catchy. Although I'm pretty oh, sure yeah. if anyone wanted to kill anyone, it would be this character. <laughs> oh my god. They look evil. That no is one's, really No horrifying. one's gun is that big. But anyway, so you like the music? Uh, yeah, definitely. All right, well, they liked it better than I. I thought the music was fine. It sounded like a video game to me. Um, but it is neat that the music is exactly three minutes, which is how long you have to play. All right, so the game is a puzzle of sorts. What did you think about the bullets coming down? Did it take a while to understand how it worked? Well, definitely it did, oh, especially yes. for types of characters. Characters are harder than others, but they might be a better character than others. You agree? Yeah. There's one weird thing. At the top of each card, there's a star or a heart that tells you how hard that character is to play. I don't know who put those there. It feels like they did it randomly. Because there's hearts that are supposedly easy that are tricky to play. Like you played one that was really hard to play, I thought. And then some of the stars are pretty easy to play. So, but, Especially my character. 
Do you feel like they're different though? Oh, yeah, they all their own like they have their own like strengths and weaknesses. Like this one girl, she's really good at taking out bullets, but she also only has two lives. Right. So, so which did, was there one that you liked the best? I definitely liked the first character. I'm pretty sure she was a cowboy or something. Yeah, Never same. Wrong. I liked her. Uh, oh, the one with the target good. tokens? Oh, no, the one that had the, the token that you could move anywhere. I liked how yeah. she w you could easily finish hers, but she doesn't give that many bullets, but she still, like, gets it done quickly. Okay. Also, I like how she looks. So you both like the same character as your favorite. Hmm? What? No, she's talking about her first one. Oh, you liked your first one, the one with the two targeting crosshairs. Yeah, that person. So we played this three player, and then we also played it two. Which way did you like better? I mean, it's kind of the same because you kept getting out really early. <laughs> That's the same. <laughs> All right, fine. Yeah, so, so they knocked me out, and then they kept playing because it was a two player game. I, I think it actually is best with two players because you're just going back and forth. With three, you just, you're just passing bullets around. And we, the first few times we played, we played without the timer. Did it make it more stressful when the timer's at it? Oh, Definitely. no, I didn't even notice it was there. Oh, you well, were stressed no matter what? Yeah. Pretty much. Did you like the components? Oh, well, the, at least the new ones. Yeah, the, the, the deluxe ones with the wooden pieces and stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so overall, Ruby, what did you think of the game and what would you rate it? I like the art, the way it played. I think the Intensify thing, I can't imagine anyone who could get to 11. <laughs> oh, you're adding 11 bullets every how round? they did that. Well, maybe you just get really good at the game. But I really like playing this game, and I could play it a lot more times if I wanted to. All right, so what would you give it? 8.5, definitely. All right, what about you? Yeah, same thing. I love the art, not just because it's NA, just because I like the art. I'm just saying. <laughs> I like how the game is strategy, and you can also stress about the whole luck thing about drawing it out. There is some luck drawing the bullets. If you get a lot of fours. <laughs> but it's mostly strategy, so I really like that. I like how the every character came with their own theme song, their own backstory. It just seemed really cool, so I'll give it a nine. A nine. Alrighty. I'm almost afraid now to say that I, I, I'll give it a, an eight, you know, but... <laughs> we, it doesn't matter. It's you fine. don't like anime anyway. That's not why. I, I think the game's fine. I think there's a little bit of luck, and I think there's definitely a disbalance, an unbalance amongst learning the characters. Some are much easier than others, and I felt like they're, I don't know, it, there's just some of that. But that being said, it feels unique. It feels like you're playing a video game where stuff's coming at you, and you have to use the different abilities to get them around. The characters are really different. The asymmetricalness uh, of the asymmetry of the game is really high. Um, and uh, yeah, if you like this theme, you're going to be really into it, um, especially with the, the music. You know, I think that's a nice touch. So there you go. That's Bullet Heart, or whatever it's called. It says 15 minutes in the box. That's pretty close, because you're going to die. <laughs> Several games, I think it was everyone died on the same turn. And one person died first, I think. Anyway, anyway who's the best at this game? Me. Got it. <laughs> anyway, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Violet. And I'm Ruby. Have fun shooting people. <laughs> in, in, in this game. <laughs>